Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we will learn how to make a dish using the technique of the twill weave. We will need the properly prepared and moisturized paper rods. All the information regarding making and preparing the paper rods is in the description to this video. We will also need a piece of cardboard, a rolling pin or something similar to it, and a stapler. Take several weavers and flatten them out with a rolling pin. Staple the flattened weavers to the cupboard, placing them next to each other. Altogether, I stapled 43 weavers. The number of weavers depends only on the size of the dish you would like to weave. In this pattern, we will be placing each weaver under three spokes, then over three spokes, again under three spokes, and so on. Each progressive row will shift by one spoke, thus creating a diagonal line across the weave. Flatten all the weavers before using them for this pattern. Take one weaver and place it alternately under three spokes and over three spokes. If necessary, use a knitting needle to push the weaver down. Here we have 4 spokes left. Place the weaver over 3 spokes and under 1, the very last spoke. One row is completed. If in the first row we placed the weaver under spokes number 1, 2 and 3, then in the second row we place the weaver under spokes number 2, 3 and 4. Continue weaving in the same manner as we wove the first row. Make the weave as tight as possible for it to look neat. Start the third row by placing the weaver over spokes number 1 and 2 and under spokes number 3, 4 and 5. You can already see in this picture that the pattern starts shifting to the right. Finish weaving the row placing the weaver alternatively under and over 3 spokes. Three rows are completed. Continue weaving in the same manner up until you reach the desired height of the weave. Specifically for this dish, we need to have the weave of the square shape.
I finished weaving. Remove the staples and detach the weave from the cupboard. Prime the weave with a mixture of the acrylic varnish and water. I use Mod Podge glue, sealer and finish mixed with water at the proportion of 1 to 1. Wait several minutes for the weave to absorb the primer and remove any excessive primer with a clean, dry brush. Put something flat that is made of plastic or glass on the weave. I use a plastic cutting board and put something heavy on top of it. Basically, we need to put the weave under the press for about an hour or so. You can decide how long to keep the weave under the press. By the time you remove it from under the press, the primer, which also has the effect of the adhesive, has to cure to some degree, but the weave still has to be wet and flexible. Remove the weave from under the press and cut a circle from a piece of paper a little bit smaller in diameter than the weave. The diameter of my circle is 19 cm. Outline it on the weave with a marker and cut it out with the scissors. As you see, the pattern doesn't look the same on different sides of the weave. Decide which side will be the right one. I chose this pattern to be on the right side. For the next step, you need something round, for example a ball. My ball is 52 cm in diameter. Place the weave on the ball with its right side down, that is touching the ball, and secure it in place with the elastic bands. Press the weave down with a ball of the suitable size, flip it over and let it dry for 2 or 3 hours. Remove the elastic bands when the weave has already acquired the needed shape but is still a little bit wet. Now we need some cloth pins and the glue. Take one weaver that has been flattened out and start gluing it to the dish. Use the clothes pin to hold it in place. Elongate the weavers as needed, the way it's usually done. Trim the weavers so that their edges touched each other. Wait for the glue to dry. Remove the clothes pins, flip the weave over and glue the weavers around the other side of the dish in the same manner. Let the glue dry. Remove the clothes pins. 
trim the edge to make it even. Take two weavers and glue them around the edge of the dish. Let the glue dry again. I will sew the dish around with the twine. I will make the easiest stitch, but you can make any other stitches or you can let the dish as is without sewing around it. Tie a knot, trim the twine and hide the knot into the weave. Prime the edge of the dish with the mixture of the acrylic varnish and water. Attach the dish to the ball again using the elastic bands and leave it there until it fully dries. You can also make the wooden framework for the dish, but it's optional. I show the dimensions of the elements of the framework in the pictures. The dish is ready. You can use it for anything, for example, for the candies, nuts, fruit, cookies, or simply as home decor and accent.